how do you keep something secret? You hide it in plain sight. July 8, 1947. The flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. If you look at the document sent to J. Edgar Hoover, three so-called flying saucers had been recovered in New Mexico. It has become the number one document viewed on the FBI website. There have been ET visitation, and people have been attempting to conceal this knowledge. We actually did recoveries of bodies that were involved with some of these crashes. I said, well, you're going to tell the public about it. And he says, no, we don't tell the public about this. There became to be this bifurcation, that this separation between legitimate national security and military operations and the deep black programs that are unacknowledged. If people think that it's just a UFO issue, they're gravely mistaken. This is one of the ultimate secrets that needs to be exposed. If there was a project that was illegal, the president doesn't know it's occurring, who's going to stop this from happening? The moon of Mars. There's a very unusual structure. When people find out about that, they're going to say, who put that there? These deeper black programs have the technology to hoax an alien invasion. They could do it, and they could do it in a way that's 100% believable. It's very easy to set up a false flag operation, concoct all kinds of false information. They have people embedded in all the major media to change and affect stories. If you tell anyone about this project, this bullet has your name on it, and it will find you. The strategy was that first the Russians were the enemy, then terrorists would be identified, then third world country crazies. The last card is the alien card, and all of it is a lie. A lie. <laughs>